What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am here with Trevor. Um, there's a couple of things I want to do before heading back over to Wade's cousin's crib. I want to take Trevor's truck to a Los Santos Customs just because I haven't done it yet. And honestly, I've been seeing pictures online of people making the truck look super awesome. And I want to have the chance to do that and kind of make it look how I want it to look. So we're going to do that. And then I want to take Trevor to a barber nice shop, um, the really fancy one, now that we are able to go back to Los Santos and to see what available hairstyles there are for him. And I don't know, maybe I'll take him clothes shopping again too, although I'm not really sure. It seems like every time I buy characters new clothes, they just take it right off anyway, and I'm like... I don't know what to do about that. Nothing, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go straight... Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go straight real quick. I was looking at the map. <laughs> just looking at the map, and I couldn't see her. So, yeah, I... Am... <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, in a couple of days. So uh, I'm gonna do everything I can to kind of record what I can and play as much as I can before that happens because I will be swollen for at least a week. And not to mention, I'm probably gonna be super drugged up um, to help ease the pain. So I don't, I don't know how that's gonna go. But yeah, they're doing like the laughing gas method, which makes me super nervous. I had two choices. Um, the oral surgeon I wanted he only does laughing gas and then the other surgeon they have there puts you to sleep and i was like honestly i don't really know if i like if i had to choose yes i'm doing the laughing gas because i don't really want to be put under because then i'm just gonna wake up and it's gonna be super disorienting like more disorienting and i'm gonna have no recollection of anything so i was like i don't really know if i want that either so laughing gas it was um I don't know how much the brakes help with driving performance, but I, you know, I'm just getting it. Aww. I like the lights. I like the lights in the front because then it matches the lights in the back. And it's like a tier. Top row, bottom row. Anyway, yeah, so that's happening and I'm really nervous about it um, because I've never had anything like this done to me before like the only work i've ever had done is of course like regular cleanings and like casual fillings once in a blue moon but so i'm a little scared wish me luck guys <laughs> um if you see any weird funny uh, posts that i make just know um just know that that's probably gonna happen <laughs> then you guys can have a good laugh with me Engine. We can do an engine upgrade. That sounds kind of nice. Okay, wait. What? Hold on. <clears throat> Pause. Because I want to do like a respray first. Oh my god, chrome. Imagine if I made this truck all chrome. I don't even- I actually don't even like how that looks. <laughs> to be honest with you. Now, I don't know if I want his truck red still. I don't know what kind of vibe I'm going for. Oh my god, purple. I don't know, guys. I will say I do like how, um, because his truck is super rusted, like, it's still keeping that kind of finish on the truck even after you repaint it. I think that's awesome. I don't know, guys. Oh, this blue looks really nice. The nautical blue. I might change it to that. That's the first color so far where I've been like, oh, that's actually decent. I just like blue. Or this dark blue is really nice. As well. Or this galaxy blue is really nice too. Shit. The blues are getting to me. 
Oh man, olive green looks nice too. No, actually it looks too army. Not a bad thing. I just don't think it's fitting for Trevor. The blue is probably not very fitting for him either, but I don't know. Sea green looks pretty nice too. Oh my god, just give him a bright pink Barbie truck. <laughs> the candy red doesn't look bad. Or this um, kind of purplish red is not bad either. All right, hold on. I'm going back to the blues because that, that is what was speaking to me. So I think my options are a galaxy blue. This looks really nice. Harbor blue is nice. Or the nautical blue. I, I might try and decide between the nautical blue and the galaxy blue. This is really hard! <gasps> I wish I had you guys here with me right now because I'm very bad at making decisions. They look like, um, denim jeans. Like, the colors look very much like a denim vibe and I think that's funny. I'm just not realizing that. I'll go with the nautical for now just because it's a little bit brighter. Hmm. Hmm. Roll cage. Carbon. Carbon with guard. I don't know if I like the guard. Oh, I like the horn, though. I actually do like the horn. So I might have to settle with the guard just for that. <laughs> I've got to get it. It works so well. I'm spending so much money on this truck. Like, I really am. Wheel type. Oh my! These are not going to be fitting for the truck. Let's be real. Off-road? Like, off-road would look nice, I think. That makes sense for at least the style of rims. What does he have right now? I mean, those aren't really that bad either. Damn, these are expensive. Everything is so expensive in this game. I'm crying in the inside. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. It is not really necessary. Tire smoke? What? That's also kind of unnecessary though. Do I really need that? No, not really. We'll do bulletproof tires though. He doesn't really have windows in his car, so that's kind of unnecessary too. Oh, I didn't even look at the grills yet. I kind of like this one. Hood. Oh. Oh, we could have gotten bullhorns in the front too. I think it's too much having it in the front and on the top though. I'm not going to do that. Should give him a uh, horn. I'm giving him the sad trombone because <laughs> that's, I think that's very Trevor humor right there. All right, this is good for now. I, I need to stop. Yeah, I'm done. Or else I will never leave and it's not gonna be great. But look at it! It looks so cool! Alright, I'm happy with this. This is this is what I needed in my life. Let me set away point. Oh, we're like literally right there. Oh no, who are you? Hello. <sighs> who is this? It's me. <gasps> I shouldn't have called. Oh! Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together is very important. I have to go. 
What? We have a new... <gasps> the picture is them together. That's his contact photo for her. Are you fucking kidding? That just made me really sad. Oh my god, let's not walk up with a whole gun in our hands, okay? Alright, it's time to see what these haircuts are that you guys are talking about from this salon. Oh, okay, we can make him bald. I don't know about that. That's it? I can just make him bald or give him a grown-out look. Oh, we can give him a stubble, though. Or a big mustache. I like him clean-shaven. I think. Do I? I think I do. As far as these hairstyles go, I don't, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Trevor's not meant to have good hair. <laughs> Let's be real. I just don't think it's possible, is it? Unless if there's a different barber shop I should go to, guys. Let me know. But now I know what is available here. I'm gonna leave him alone though. Okay, bye. All right, guys, let's just go. Let's go to Trevor's main mission here and let's see what's going on. Woo! They're cursing at me already and I haven't even hit any of them. Psh. I didn't even pass you guys. All right, well. I'm gonna... Whee! Oh, snap. I guess I'll just change Trevor's outfit whenever we go to... Uh, whenever we have time to go to the safe house or something so that we can access the wardrobe. Because I don't. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Big blue dot. There's a big blue dot. One more day and I'm a retired man. Is that gonna fucking fall on him? Yep. That's insane. I would have had a heart attack. Dude. Use that bulldozer to move the pipes. Hurry, please! Stinks of gas in here! Oh shit! Hurry, please! I smell burning. I'm gonna try and hurry. Oh my god, this is gonna be a thing where if I uh take Come too on. long, he could die. Hurry up! We don't have long! Get back! She's gonna go! Well, you can easily get out if you wanted to, like right now. Oh fuck me, man! Thank God my truck wasn't closer. You okay, dude? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I thought I was done for there. I the tires giving out and everything. Okay, I'm gonna go now. It's the fire truck department. Oh, and they're not coming over here. <laughs> oh no, dude. I heard a fire uh, truck and I was like, oh damn, are they here to? Help put that out? Um, nope. They've got better things to do. Oh, how do I get out of here? I can't. I gotta go back around this way. Well, where are they going then? I still hear them. Where'd they go? There they are. Now are you guys going over there? Who knows what they're doing? You know what? I saved the man. That's all that matters. Oh my god. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah. I'll change Trevor's outfit whenever I can. His outfits are crazy. I kind of want to put like all the characters in suits now. Like I feel like we're late enough in the game where like a lot of stuff is happening and it I feel like if they look super fancy, it's just gonna make it hella iconic for these upcoming missions, I'm sure. Cause shit is going down. Yes. I miss you already. 
Oh shit, who's he talking to? What the airport are you doing here? That's a uh -oh. funny way to greet your cousin. It ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. G damn. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? Shit. I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center. I was wondering what in the name her. Oh, team God. training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got. All right, I had a tough upbringing. They replaced My her picture. daddy was not nice to me. Okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? <laughs> oh, God. Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear! You're crap, Floyd! Yikes. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go Who is Bob? now, you and your weird friend. Whoa, hey, my name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Who the fuck, fuck is Bob? You people are not very fucking nice. Oh, God. I was like, did my game just break? Why did it just cut off like that? Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Don't tell me. Mm, hey there, Wade. No fucking did way. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Oh, Why not? fuck. Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have... The time of our lives. <gasps> oh. oh, I know exactly where to take <gasps> you. <laughs> okay, and we get to go to the strip club after this shit. Okay, let's do it. You know what? Let's have the time of our lives. I'm running and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd again? Not anymore. Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip. Exactly. Oh, Trevor. Fuck. You yourself. You're all. Oh, sorry. You're all red. You got. You got syrup. Yeah. Strawberry syrup. syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but but it don't taste like syrup. Don't. Ew. Me. All right. Just no licking. God damn okay. it, Wade. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, <laughs> right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern mm, yeah. is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. I also love how in that cutscene, Trevor made it sound like um, the last time he saw Floyd was yesterday. And I'm like, dude, we've done like so many missions in between. You cannot you tell me that that happened in a time span of a day. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. Did it just he say I could save stuff? Interesting. By parking it on the strip of the strip me, club? We got a new home. Where? 
<laughs> here! Right here! With blood here? all over him still. I'm here. dead. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie! Hey, you two! You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Okay, I love how no one's questioning how he looks right now. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Oh, God. That... What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. That's All right, crazy. That's Franklin. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. That was like the last thing I would have expected. Wait, what is this note? To my darling, I hope you choke on this, Amanda. <laughs> Uh, with an I heart Ellis fucking magnet. That seems really rough. Let's uh, change your outfit, shall we? You're still very dusty. Hey, Dad, how are you? It's like so majorly weird writing to you like this. It's like the 90s or something. Email. Wow. <laughs> Ah, oh, what should we say? <clears throat> oh, I miss you, even though you are a dick. Um, okay, so email, wow, but I didn't want to call as I'd only get sad, and then afterwards I always do something I regret, but maybe you don't need to know about that. I'm, uh, blah, blah, blah. I miss you, I think. We all do, sort of. Fabian is so annoying. If I wanted to do yoga, I'd, like, go to India or something. And he keeps asking me to call him dad. Only joking! See, I do have a sense of humor. My singing and dancing are going well, but I'm really pissed that you screwed up fame or shame for me. You're such a dick. Jimmy is useless. I wonder how him and I could come from the same place. Was mom doing coke again when she was pregnant with me? Joke. Or is it? <laughs> anyway, we are all fine and don't get a divorce. That would suck. I much prefer you... Uh, uh, but, but I much prefer watching you two scream and fight. It's great and what I know. Um, miss you, Tracy. P.S. Do you like the spelling of my name? I think it's cute. She's funny. She is kind of funny. Trace, I miss you guys. I know I messed up. I really do. I'm sorry. I'm changing. Tell your mom she needs to give me one last chance. I love you. Tracy's like the only one that's actually hitting Michael up, um, but saying that she misses him and all that. Oh, Ricky! Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? What's up? I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? I, I hey, will. if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. No, I definitely was planning on using him for the next heist whenever we need a hacker. Or anything of the sorts. What do I want to put him on? Or, or, like, what do I want him to wear? I don't know. I mean, it makes sense for him to wear a suit. We'll do the topaz this time. I don't think he's worn that in a while. I just felt bad because the suit he had on was 100% super dirty and dusty. Okay. Damn, I should probably take his car in at some point too, huh? Damn, his car just looks great in general already. Like, look at his rims. Has it always been like that? Or did Jimmy do that? Because Jimmy had it last? Or did he take a different car? I don't even remember. Oops, wrong button. All right, so I guess we're going to Trevor's. Correct. Trevor's, a.k.a. the strip club now. 
<laughs> Love that. Skirt! Shit. Whoa. I think Michael's car is definitely like my favorite one to drive though because it's super fast and it's a little bit easier to drive. Oh, she sent another message. Oh my God, back to back? Girl, you do miss me. I, like, I love how it's Tracy Heartstealer. That's her name. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you're not dead. Uh, we'll try to talk to mom, but she's being a bitch about me dating someone who I promise is totally right for me. He's a drummer and actor and he's really mature. He's a bit older and I know you love him. So excited. <laughs> Trace, please be careful. Love you. Be careful, girl, for real. All right. Oh, there's the car again. Hey. <laughs> I love that car. I can't believe Trevor took over the strip club. Like, it makes sense. I, it was just not what I was expecting. It wasn't a thing I thought would actually happen. Look at his truck. Looking badass. I'm proud of it. I can't wait to kick back with How the that fuck do we? Oh, I gotta go this way. Mr. DeSanta, good to see you. Oh, good to see you too. You know who I am. Is it because he's Trevor's friend, or does Michael just come here a lot more often than I thought? Oh wait, bro, you're funny. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. Yep. Hey. Hey. Before you ask. The fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality <laughs> Love that. already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that and crazy Franklin shit. And Franklin came too. Right, we'll square things away with Meriwether. Make sure the agency ain't coming back after us. And then do one last big score. And then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison. And then, you know. Fuck, he keeps mentioning Brad. <laughs> So how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> so what's going on here? What's going on <laughs> is the big one. <laughs> Lester's coming up in the strip club. A long, club. long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, Awkward. robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one! one! What is the big one? <laughs> <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. We're, we're going to do that here. <gasps> Oh fucking hell, dude, Trevor! <laughs> Come in, you there? God damn! There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank. See if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. All right. Hey, listen, it's gonna be a big much. one, huh? Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it, man. Getting in the door is easy. Is it? It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. All right. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. 
from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But hmm. not now. <laughs> not right now. I'll do it, though. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker Ew. in the National Fucking Reserve? <laughs> yeah. So funny. Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Oh, he's doing fantastic. It's wow. a big pool. <laughs> I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clock. Okay. They made it all the way over here already. Damn. The try fast. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Oh, God. Uh... You talk to Mike about it. Oh, fine. Shit. I was going to pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. <laughs> Man, you just don't even know. I'm worried about the moment when he finds out Brad is actually dead. Um, if that ever happens, I'm sure it probably will. That's going to be a crazy thing to witness right there. Look at how fast this truck is. God damn. It's always been pretty fast, though. All right, time to fly. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. Oh, leave him alone. His cane is like invisible. <laughs> okay. We got the fast helicopter. We'll be there in no time. My observations fit with your scheme so far. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Yeah, I actually yeah. realized at the last second I almost flew over that. That's funny. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the U.S. Mm. Out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that spying on innocent people. Mm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent <laughs> people. Now, who does that remind me of? Oh. Anyway, if you want to hit the ball the shade? the way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice. Once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're going to find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, huh. what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Okay. Okay. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> huh, okay. Which could be what? Which could be where? I mean, I feel like taking uh, routes and tunnels, like that one heist we did in the very beginning of the game, or under bridges or something. Train tracks, following the train tracks. I don't know. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. Yeah. It's on route. We'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. Oh. There's a number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. 
Okay, never mind. Where did they go? Damn, did we lose them? I got too distracted. I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. Oh, there they are. For short periods of time. <laughs> oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. I love how we're in a of a think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. I'll go around. Meet them at the other end. Exactly. I was hoping they come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Anyway, I was going to say I love how we're in a helicopter like this. Pretty noticeable and it's like bright red on the sides too and we're always just hovering around Los Santos in these missions and no one just no one cares um have they come out or no Okay. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh my god, they're so funny. <laughs> Onion 86 in the building. Okay. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Search for the construction site entrance. Would it not be here? Here's some construction. Oh, wait. Save the metro tunnel. We'll keep looking. Oh, never mind. Wrong one, I guess. There's your big ass hole. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. I'm uh, trying. Okay, is this is this okay? Is this working for you, Lester? You want me above it, do you? Am I not? Oh my god, they're being so particular about this one. It's driving me insane. Just hold the chopper here. Okay, there we go. I had to be closer. Oh my god. to the airfield. So, uh, providing either of these ways into the bank works, the armored cars are the big hole in the ground, how are we going to get the metal out? That's the 20% of $200 million question. If the armored cars are a viable option, we'll bring out the gold in them. Simple. You won't even have to fire a shot if everything goes to plan. When does everything go to plan? It's ever going to. This is the time. Sounds hopeful to me. You got a backup plan? Well, we can modify this chopper to carry the weight. Huh? We need another one to match. Easy enough to get. If we're using it for the job, would you consider taking your name off the side? Please. <laughs> I'm taking down the Union Depository and anything other than a chopper with my name on it. Well, then you don't know me, bro. 
I mean, that's true, I though. That. Very Trevor like for him to do something like that. Okay, I feel like, should I see what's going on with Michael and Franklin? Oh my god, we're, I was about to fly over the freaking prison again. Let's not do that. I want to see what's going on with Michael and Franklin. Are they enjoying their time together? <laughs> and where do they need to go now? Are they just driving off? We're taking it back home. Oh my god, please don't hit me. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. <laughs> ah, yeah, Just Trevor. Trevor. Get it done. And Willie? Hey, I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, True. but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. Yeah. There ain't never gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Cause he shit, don't even know. Shady, Real shady. It is we'll shady. Talk, He's hiding stuff. Right? Just later. Later. Fine. Here you go, Franklin. With your mansion. Right, hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Okay, yay. <laughs> um, man, what now? What now? All right, yeah, there is a mission over at Michael's house. Woo. So let's go ahead and just drive over there because we're not that far away from it. Let's see what is going to happen. I'm going to go up this way. And go around to uh, avoid the really weird sharp turns. At least some of them. Sorry, I'm not a tool. If I am, I promise I am the sharpest one. <laughs> Ooh! Damn it, I was looking at Tracy's message. Don't worry, we broke up. He was a dick. XOX. You were just talking about him. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm really not. What's gonna start? Wait. Is it, do I need to go in the living room or upstairs? Oh, right here. We're good. <sighs> Bury the hatchet. Hey, man. <laughs> what is he doing what with do his eyebrows? Want? I'm your friend, I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? Nope. At least we know he does laundry. Nah, He's not bloody anymore. <laughs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend, bam. No, it's not it. I got money, it just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Aww. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. 
I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. Patricia does. I do. And Michael does. Oh. Fuck. People you. love you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! Come by the Queensbury Boxing Club and find out how the fight game can bring out the ultimate player in you. I mean, let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? Yikes. I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Trevor! Hey! T! Oh, he knows. Oh, he knows. Ah, great. Oh, he's hit the car. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't have any other car. Fuck, I need someone to come and clutch right now. Anyone. Anyone. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going! Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back at my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no! No, it's clear and reason thought! Finally! Stop your car! Come on! Come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a no! trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Okay. Shit! Yeah, shit, indeed, buddy. That's funny that I just talked about him finding out, and now I think we're about to witness it. Shit. Davey! Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's yeah. good to know. You should have known already. Okay. Why did you have to do that? I almost hit you because of that. Damn, so we're driving to the airport and then what? We're gonna fly out? Here we are. We're about to find out, I guess. Go to second level terminal entrance. Don't mind if I do. Okay, no one run me over. God damn, baby, that ass. Man, these young cats is crazy. No? Who cares? Wait, I gotta go up. Go up one more. I was like, that's going down, and <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Damn. Bye. They are decked out with shotguns at this freaking airport. Oh, 
男友已已经到了机场，不管他的哪班机，我们会跟上。Oh what? The fuck? Who are they? Oh my god, we're going to a different area. Holy shit. Listen, Amanda. We're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory. I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Yikes. He's got the flashbacks going through his head. So deep out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. It's really nothing. pretty here. Yeah, I'm gonna go real quick. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. Damn, I wish this was a place you could kind of like go to whenever you wanted. Doesn't seem to have a lot, but like it's nice to drive around in. We did it. Maybe we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. That's what they always say, huh? Just one more job. This is the job. Something is telling me that this big job is not gonna be the last one. Okay, how do I get through? What am I doing? Hold on. I'm just trying to jump over and I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Ooh, can we go inside? No, we can't. Oh my God, the reflection off of the window, such a nice detail. The music is scary. What's about to happen? Ah, shit. He got here hella early. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time. Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. This is it. Moment of truth. Oh, God. know Brad oh my god look he looks we scary. do what we gotta do to survive this thing it didn't work out the way it was supposed to oh how was that huh with Brad in the can and me in the ground or or or, or, or both of us in the coffin Brad got shot you saw it yeah he well... didn't make it I got shot I did that's that's it I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. 
He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! Whoa! I didn't want it to come oh. to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. This now is insane. Pull the fucking trigger. Y'all can't do it. You ain't got the guts. Don't do it. Don't. Take the fucking shot. Who is that? Fuck you. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> Joe Phillips, Mr. Cho has requested a word. Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Hey, tell this to me, tell this to me. Get the boy. They bro. followed us all the way to the freaking cemetery? Motherfucker. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. Oh, my God. Now there's a van. No, no, no. Oh my god, I'm doing really bad. Damn, how many shots does it take? Oh, oh, oh my. We only have a pistol. Okay. Oh my god. They're everywhere. How many guys you sitting up here? I'm just gonna keep running because there is a lot. You confused pieces of shit! Hard. There we go. We know you're weak. Oh my god, I don't have the ability anymore. This is awful. This is awful. I have to reload. Damn it. Okay, I think I just need to keep running. I'm gonna try. I can't kill that many people with just a freaking pistol, man. Oh fuck, now I just put it away on accident. Oh, you could probably sneak past them too, I guess. Stop the man. We'll find us. All right, I'm just gonna keep running. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Oh my God! Stay under. Oh damn! That van is like really, really, really on fire. Oh, that's scary. Oh my god, he has to reload. God damn it. Oh fuck, this is so hard. This is so hard. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, I just need to run and get their gun right now. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the bed! All right, here we go. Oh my god. This is actually the hardest mission I've had. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be very mad at Trevor. For real. Oh man. He's like so far away. Oh fuck. I can't. He's killing me. You're out of your element. Where's he at? Oh, I see you. He's not dead yet. Shit! Shit! Fuck, that took so much health away from me. God damn it. Like, you're on ice, Rick. Oh, we got a shotgun now. We do have a shotgun now. Two 
Okay, and we have a decent amount of bullets now. Run, 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 run! Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Okay, I'm doing a lot better this time. Where's the last guy? Alright, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Ah! Hey, can we do this where the weather's better? I avoided him, but I Okay, who else? I thought there was more. Yeah, in the freaking van here. I'm gonna wait. I just know if I don't, um, I'm gonna regret it. Well, I guess that was supposed to be my moment to go because of the train. So I'm just gonna go now. I'm gonna keep going. Thank God it's a long train. Fucking hell, guys. That took me so many tries. Trevor. Fuck! And now we can't even use the car. You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. Alright, alright. All of that, and I still get. Get out the fucking car. I still get captured. Caught. That's annoying. <laughs> God damn it. Trevor, I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad. So mad. That took forever. Of course he was able to take his own plane too. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips. This is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How <laughs> is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Oh your my god, that was so fucked. This problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? He thinks Michael Patricia. Vicenta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I'd never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. That didn't work. <laughs> Yikes. Well, that was intense and not what I expected at all. Hey, crazy man. Meet me or meet at me at my crib. Me and Frank going to roll on that last car for the rich dude. You in? I guess so. I, I can be. Oh god, I kind of like forgot how to land. Uh, let's uh, do a little U-turn here and do this properly. <laughs> so that I don't crash. Okay, this is not working right. Oh god. Yeah, the plane was destroyed. I got that. I know that. <laughs> I saw it happen. I did it. All right, here we go again. Now I'm ready to land. Did it! <laughs> Let's uh, disregard what happened the other time. So anyway... Yeah, so um, we have like that one mission with Devin because we got a message from 
Lamar saying that they were going to do that. So we can switch over to them. And we can do that mission to end the episode with because it's the last car. So we're going to see what kind of rolls down. Um, if any good comes out of it, I'm hoping that there will be some good coming out of it. Give us the money. I hope Michael still gets his money too, even though he's been captured. <laughs> All right, shit, it's time to go. What does that say? 100 tips for improving what? What were you reading? No, we didn't get to see it. Hold on, does it say on the spine of the book? Damn it, I can't even tell, actually. That's really sad. He just, he was too embarrassed about it. He had to put it face down. Um, Brother Adrian, isn't it time you took control of your inner self? Are you willing to spare five minutes for a lifetime of fulfillment? What? <laughs> That's so funny. What is this? Negative thinking? Wrong. You are embracing truth and confronting denial. Uh-huh. On the top it says existence is without meaning. There's no life after death. No act of selfless. Everyone hates you. Okay. The statements are examples of the most positive of positive thinking. A double positive. And two positives make yet another positive, both mathematically and spiritually. That's a triple positive, which is really positive. Man always wants to be positive, unless he's getting tested for STDs. We are our own prisons, our own warden. Your soul is a prison riot. You always feel like you've been shanked. Like there is ground glass in your food. We're running out of prison analogies. We avoided the one about the showers because we're original thinkers. Faith in something outside ourselves is a defense mechanism that prevents us from living the life we're meant to lead. Only you control your fate. Take control of your inner self. Become an active engineer of your destiny. An engineer at the front of the train, pouring more coal on the fire. Embrace the uh, locomotive motive. Uh, worship at the altar of your inner self. Discover the divine within. Read the above, read it again, then call a friend and tell them about it. It might be the most important thing you ever browse on the internet. Free actuality analysis. Find out for yourself, find out about yourself. Are you willing to spare five minutes for a lifetime of fulfillment? I guess. Oh my god, look at each picture and select the response so that best characterizes your reaction. Answer quickly and honestly. Hold on, should I answer this as Franklin or myself? I'm gonna answer as Franklin. So, boobs. <laughs> arousal, mother of trouble milk. I mean, I think Franklin would think arousal or no? Milk, that's so fucking funny. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll have him pick that. Take your reaction. A knife would be Franklin's solution. Erection sushi restraining order. Fingerprints. Identity, abyss, prison, Illuminati. Identity? Take your reaction. For an island, escape, loneliness, a global warming reality show. Would for I mean, Franklin could enjoy an island. Like, I feel like he would. Although I feel like he'd be lonely too. We don't really see a Franklin's thought process on like living alone and different stuff like that. But I mean, who's gonna, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna change it to escape. This is like, it's different. Like if it's an island with like people and like, oh, you could take multiple. I didn't know that. Um, if it's like an escape of like a getaway and like a vacation and you're with other people and like it's going to be fun, then great. But if it's like island, meaning like you're stranded or you're there alone, then loneliness. Like it's kind of, it depends on what you think. I'll, I'll keep escape though. That that was a roller coaster of thinking for me. This, okay. I would say future. Tick your reaction. I mean, Franklin's talked about having a family casually like once, I think. And based on how he was talking about it, like, I feel like he, he could and would be a family man. Burn it. These would be easier to answer if I was like, if it was Trevor doing this or something. Tick your reaction. Marijuana, 100% for him. Girl, that doesn't shave her legs. That's so funny. Take your reaction. Companion. Urine. I would say companion for him. What even is this? Is this someone falling off of a cliff? Bitch wife. Extreme sport reality show. Jock Cranley for governor. That's so funny. I'd say extreme sport. Take your reaction. Trust, hopelessness, whore, dry Greek. 
this is a tricky one because i don't even i don't i'm not getting any reaction from it i don't know what that uh, i mean it could be hopelessness if it's like a train coming towards you and you're about to be hit i wouldn't trust a train coming at me like it's not going to stop on time right that's Franklin's answers. <laughs> you are unfulfilled personally, professionally, and sexually. That is true for him. Because he's been living alone, living with his auntie, not getting the money he wants. You're experiencing a desperate crisis of self, but you have taken an important step towards utilizing your completeness of acknowledging your actuality. Why take a bath in your own despair when you can shower with others in enlightenment? Congratulations, you have already completed the first stage of a patented process of self-development. To continue on a road to personal success, freedom and enlightenment traveled by over a million people worldwide, click on the link below. It's free, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Don't let reality pass you by. Click here to, okay, the divine within, children of mountain. Welcome, children of the mountain is a world leader in self-awareness training with more than 1,000 virtual offices in 25 countries and corporate headquarters in the Cayman Islands. We are not a cult or religion. We don't believe in anything. We are a personal development community using our unique knowledge of human spirituality and development to put you in touch with your true dimension and stages for a price. The COM process is a patented four-stage course of self-realization to achieve personal development beyond the confines of society and grammar. Stage one, acknowledgement of my actuality. We did that. Stage two, embracement of my futility. Stage three, spiritual re-evaluation re of my externality. Um, stage four, freedom through the reinterpretation of my actuality. The mind-breaking COM process can now be completed entirely online. Don't be bound by the limitations of your orthodoxy. Don't be confused by all of this jargon. Just be clear with yourself. For a small price, everyone has the potential to be extraordinary and start using these same words. Join those around you who have excelled while you've been spinning blindly in the darkness. Prepare to cast away the values that are holding you back. Okay, what they say about the process is the best decision I've ever made and I've made some real good ones. When I attended that seminar and we did the thing where you are blindfolded and have to fall backwards and your teammates are supposed to catch you, I learned a lot, especially when they didn't catch me and I got a concussion and learned to never trust anyone, only myself. Finally, selfishness and selfishness and social adornism is a virtue. Actor and acting guru, Bill Anthony. So frequently asked questions, we always get asked if this is a cult. It's not, we just try to improve reality. Uh-huh. Guarantee over 1 million people have taken the course and they're satisfied. The COM process stage uh, stage 2 entry. Please enter your specially delivered COM process password below. Um... Beep, beep, poo. It's incorrect. Okay, what is my password? What is my password? Okay, so please enter your specially delivered COM process password below. It's not pee pee poo, guys, in case if you're wondering. <laughs> so stage two says embracement of my futility. Could it just be futility? Yeah, it is. 199! Congratulations, you are one step away from being a patented process of self-realization that, uh, that will put you in touch with his true dimension. Children on the Mountain, $199. Am I really about to do this? I think I am. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Put it back. I was trying to do the D. Ah, oh, fuck. I keep like... God damn it. It's like I think I'm going to go down one more. Oh, my God. I need the I. What am I doing? I'm really struggling here. Okay, and then you have to go down that way oh my god this is like please go down how do i i think it's easier if i just what the fuck is this okay well i didn't really do that right i was not expecting a whole uh word puzzle god damn stage two solution sexual and spiritual repression have dulled your instincts and clouded your judgment you are intellectually bereft but personal awareness and accountability are the keys to empowerment only by surrendering ego and embracing your futility and we can begin to truly utilize our completeness in a new dimension this puzzle was a test that you will of course fail but you learned an essential life lesson okay don't let reality pass you by. Sign up now to stage three of the COM process for a discounted price of $4,999. We have discounted it because you need to learn more. We are very worried about you. Let's continue on this wonderful journey of self-discovery together. I mean, I feel like I'm committed now, but that's so expensive. I'm scared. Is it going to get more and more expensive? Like, I'm worried. Is this worth it? You know, I'm not... I'm not going to... Oh, I get to go back. Can I try it again? Anyway, no, I'm not paying... 
that much money we have money yes but i'm not doing that <laughs> i'm not doing that because i don't even know what's coming out of it that was insane and i spent a lot of time on that <laughs> um we're not gonna talk about it i was curious and i am fully convinced that they are actually a cult because of the amount of times they said that they are not <laughs> that is what i'm believing do i want to spend money to be part of a cult not really not necessarily all right let's do this one last mission with Devin though and the boys Woo! oh man of course you had to be there of course you had to be there <laughs> right when i was turning i should uh Ooh, what is this on the map? What's going on? Tickets for the most famous <gasps> tour in Minewood. Right <laughs> what? Oh, me? Holy shit, that's so funny. You can do Vinewood tours. And it's on the map. I would definitely like to do that one day. Oh, the zombie's still there. That's hilarious. All right. I'm gonna ride on the sidewalk here casually, don't mind me. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that was, oh shit. That was, that was ridiculous. I love how it's always Franklin is the only one that gets like shot out of the cars. My bad. All right, get out of my way. Don't let that happen again. <laughs> get out of my way so I won't get launched one more time. Like, how many times have I had Franklin almost die because of that? Like, too many. Actually, too many. Oh man, that one sign fucked me up that bad. That is insane. Where am I going? Where am I parking? Right here. I see it. Is this Lamar's place? 100%. What's crack? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Oh, Come nice. by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Nice. I was wondering if Trevor was actually going to be a part of it because I know Lamar sent him a message, but we didn't really answer or open it, so. Oh, damn, that's nice. You can hear the music blasting through the car. He waiting at the garage. At the garage. Damn, I want this car really bad. Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm Ooh. thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Right? Damn, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now, <laughs> like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That That's sounds really suspicious. Man. That's some shady ass shit. Yep. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. Almost like they kind of knew this was going to happen. Okay, this is not going well. Let me back up. Let me back up. There we go. There she is, homie. We straight. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. <laughs> Get in there and keep your mouth shut. Of course, Lamar's getting the middle seat. And he looks so awkward about it, too. Dude, we have all these rich ass cars. Hey, it's, uh, Looking a little suspicious. Scooch up, home. Yeah. Scooch over here. 
Pushing that crazy dude? Oh hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't. That's so funny. Hey, what I heard? All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor yeah. and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? How about four hours. Shit. Shit. Your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. <laughs> some boss. That's a long, long, long ways, huh? Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? I'm surprised no Franklin didn't ask creeping. about Michael. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. <laughs> there weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Uh huh. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's oh unconfirmed. <laughs> What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Um, all like, of the above. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Yeah. That's messed Bummer. up. But you know. Imagine if he actually wasn't guy. asleep yet. He made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah. A liar. Above all else. A fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. <laughs> I am some bitch oh my he ain't called for ten years. Fuck, man. He fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, oh shit. My bad. Oh god. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. Uh huh. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. Like, I, yeah. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. I actually like uh, Trevor and Lamar interacting with each other. It's funny. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what... You deserve to get run over because why did you go when you saw this truck what? What driving you forward? Jack you off or something? He says no. God no. Of course not. Unless. Man, you's a sick fiend. <laughs> Just fiending for some friendship. Aww. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobo. Uh, maybe Damn, time. that's Freedom. fuck. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. <laughs> if you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching He's always gonna be touchy. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he like in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. 
Ooh, it's repulsive. But well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. And I hope he it's pays as well. I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meet? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. Oh, what? Wounds ain't healed. Oh shit, what's happening? Damn! Up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit. I got an idea. Keep trying. Damn it. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. What? Man, Molly said there'd be some hard wheels. Oh shit. Shit, we'll see. Hey, take this headset. That is insane. Does it like auto drive if I'm in cinematic? I don't really think so. I'm scared to find out. Ah oh, shit. Get out of my way. No. Sorry, Franklin. There's some windy roads coming up. You got this? Oh shit. Let me make sure he doesn't get hit by another car. Franklin's always the one that's having to climb out of vehicles and do some crazy, outrageous shit. Nope. We're good. Nope. Not pulling over. Oh, it's about to be a pretty badass. Can I have a switch to Franklin? Woo! There we go. Honestly, if we just keep dropping a bunch of these, we'll be fine. I got us. I was waiting for them to get a little bit closer. I'm, you know, they're like right up my booty. There we go. And there's someone right behind me. Oh shit, my bad. I am trying. This is a lot harder than you would think. There we go. Whew. I'm doing everything I can, guys. There we go. Whew. Thank God. Because that was getting a little difficult. Now the car's damaged. Cars are damaged. Hello. Hi. It's Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney client privilege. You got that ship, you know? All yep. Lost. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. Damn. Hey, speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. I'm gonna do what I can. Hello, Franklin. Hello. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors oh God, the world stop. has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. But where's the money? Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. 
which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I would take all the cars myself. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. I would have stole them. God damn it! Where's everyone else? Everyone just left? Uh uh. Oh, there's the Dignity Village again. Maybe it's a sign we gotta go over there. That's where our new life is gonna start. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, blast usage is for a flight to North Yankton. Yikes. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. See, that's something fishy, Dang. right? Is he in the city, dog? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Yeah, Shit, all right, he's not going to talk to Look, us about it, to though. Look, my crib, all right? Well, guys, I think this is a good place to end the episode for now. I think shit is going to keep going downhill from here um, between these boys. And I'm both excited and nervous to see how everything is going to unfold. Um, but it, nonetheless, I'm having a blast with these new missions. And I don't know, like the game just keeps getting better and better. And I'm so excited to keep on playing with you guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that post notification bell to stay up to date on all of my GTA 5 uploads. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.